Hello guys, welcome back to another part of Core Java tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about what is the use of throw in Java. Using the throw clause, you can easily create any exception. You can easily create an exception anywhere in a program. So here I am going to demonstrate it using a complete working example. So in this program, there are two integer variables and it access value from the user through the command line arguments. So here I'm going to create another method called process public void process that has two arguments int x and int y. Okay, here I'm going to check the value of y if value of y equal to zero then here I'm going to throw an exception so here I use that throw throw clause throw new arithmetic exception with a message arithmetic exception okay and here I'm going to handle the handle this exception here using try catch block so here I handle it using a try catch here is the catch and it's an automatic exception okay and here I print it System dot out dot print ln exception code at process method. Also print out that exception here using that object. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to call this method from the main method. So for that I have to create an object of this class throw demo demo is equal to new throw demo just create an object of that class and using that object I'm going to call that method demo dot process pass that values a and b pass that two values a and b okay if the value of b is 0, that means value of y is 0, then here I just throw an exception using the throw clause and I handle that exception in that method itself and if the value of b is not 0, then you have to do something here in the else of that loop I create another variable in result is equal to x by y system dot I print out that result the result is equal to and print out that result variable here ok if the value of y is 0 that means value of y is uh, b is 0 that means the second command line argument is 0 here we got an exception and I handle that exception in the method itself so here I am going to throw that exception to the calling method that means the main method so here from the catch block I throw that exception to the caller so here I just throw that exception object so that is coded on the main method so here I am going to code that exception here using a try catch block in main method arithmetic exception he out dot print ln exception code at main method 
exception called that main method and that exception is here e okay so in this program if the second line second comma line argument is zero then uh, the calling method that means the process method will throw an exception and I handle it on the catch block again I throw that exception to the caller method here the caller method is the main method and in the main method I handle it again using a try catch block so now we can run it so here I have to here I using the NetBeans, NetBeans ID for running this project running this program so I have to set two command line arguments so go to the run option and select the set project configuration and choose the customize sub option and here is the class name my our class name is throw demo and here are the arguments option here I'm going to pass two valid arguments 6 and 2 and click OK now I am going to run it now I run now we got the result that means the value of B is now not 0 so we got the result and again I am going to change that arguments that means second value into 0 so go to the set main project configuration customize I change the second argument as 0 and click OK now again run it here it is here you can see that first the exception is caught at the process method so exception caught at process method it is java lang dot automatic exception and here is that message customized message and again we throw that exception from the catch block to the color method that means main method and again it is caught at the main method guys please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates see you in the next part of this tutorial